Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well. Welcome to another video. So today I am gonna be sorting out the children's wardrobes. So at the moment we are currently in the process of a bedroom swap over. If you are new to my channel, I am currently 32 weeks pregnant and we were originally gonna move house, but then we decided not to because of everything that's going on and we don't know how the economy is gonna be and we don't know how we're gonna be in like three or even six months time. So thought for the rest of this year, we're gonna hold the move off and we will work with what we've got. So at the moment, my little girl is currently in the biggest bedroom and my little boy is in the smallest bedroom and I'm pregnant with a little boy. So what we plan to do is switch the children over, which we're currently in the process of, and today it is the job of switching over the wardrobes. So I'm gonna have like a good sort out, a declutter. I'm also gonna write a list on my phone of all the things the children need because we're now transitioning from winter to spring. So that will be a really good opportunity to do that. And yeah, I absolutely love watching organisation videos, so I hope you'll enjoy this one too. Let me show you both of the wardrobes. So this is my little boy's wardrobe at the moment. So this is kind of like an open space. We actually took the doors off of here because it was a small room. We wanted to make it look more big. So he has an Ikea set of drawers here and he normally has a wash basket here. We have a few items of his clothes hanging up here, his school uniform all set out there. And then he also has some boxes up here, which will go into the other room because Ava Lily also has boxes, so they'll go back up there. But yeah, I'm gonna literally take everything out because I also think we might need to do a little paint in here. So I'll probably do that as well. But to start, I'm actually gonna take all of this out and go and place it on Ava Lily's bed. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes So we've just cleared out everything and Will's done another coat on the white and he's just now sanding down all the skirting boards and especially in here like you can see the difference how yellow that is and how white that is so before we put any clothes in here we're going to make sure all this is painted we're going to do a little touch up up here because that's a bit dull and probably round the door as well but yeah that's the next job and I'll show you what we use for that. So the paint that we always use, and we've used this for a good couple of years now because we just absolutely love it, is the one from B&M. It's the Turner and Grey and we use the quick dry undercoat first, which is in Brilliant White. And then we go over the top with the Satin Brilliant White. And I think these are like $4.99 each. So they are such a good price as well and they really do last, they don't go yellow, they even say on the tin like non-yellowing but I think something's happened to this one and it's leaked a little bit. And yeah they say lifetime whitening on and honestly like we never really have to go over our skirting boards, they're always really white. So whilst we wait for the paint to dry, I am just going to empty all of this out because this is where Marley's clothes are going to go in. This is currently Ava Lily's wardrobe. It has the same shelf at the top as well. But what we are going to do is just remove the gold pole and I'm going to spray it white because I have some metal spray until we can go out to the shop and get a silver one. So we're going to do that, but I am now going to take all of these out and all of this and as you can see in the last room I just removed the drawers so then I'll just swap them over and pop them in and this will probably go into the other room driving through days and nights won't stop for traffic lights So this is Ava Lily's new wardrobe, it's all freshly painted and ready for everything to be put back. So I'm going to start off by popping the drawers in first and then we will put all her clothes in. If I 
we last left off because I've filmed so much different things since then and the wardrobes have been on hold because we need some little parts for the boys and Ava Lily's we were sorting out both the rooms I've literally chucked the whole contents of her wardrobe on top of the desks right now I'm gonna be sorting out that so I'll show you what it currently looks like and what I'm gonna do so this is the wardrobe and I think actually now I think about it you last saw me putting these clothes away but I just literally dumped everything here I have been up in the loft as well and got lots of her little summer bits because we had some really nice warm weather at the weekend so yeah what I'm gonna do is I'm literally just gonna take the whole load of this pop it on the floor and then just start um, sorting through item by item. And I'm also going to make a list on my phone. Which is here. Of all of the um, things that we need for summer. I was going to say spring summer. But yeah. Because obviously the kids aren't at school now. So they wear a lot more. And my washing basket is overflowing every single day. But that's another story. So yeah. Let's crack on with organizing this and hopefully we'll be able to finish all of this within the next hour let's put some music on get some motivation jumping from cliffs so high trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground And I, I really wanna know, really wanna know If I let figure out where the road goes So, that is the wardrobe finally done. I'm literally so happy. So everything's in its place now. We have the three IKEA boxes at the top. And in these, we just have seasonal bits and like party clothes. So um, she has all her swim and costumes in there and things like that. This one has coat hangers. And then this one has like bags and accessories. And then moving down, we have her clothes. And I've just kept like all her best pieces out here really. All of this is the little section to be ironed, which I'm gonna show you what I use in a minute because it's just so good. And it is honestly like such a time saver. So I'm gonna show you um, what I use to iron them next because I don't actually have an iron and an ironing board. I then have this crate. This is from Home Bargains with all her shoes in. This is her uniform organiser which we're obviously not using at the moment and then in the drawers we sorted them out so we have like her hair bands and stuff here and then down in this one we have her pajamas i think she's got another couple of pairs in the wash she's got her fluffy ones this is like her loungewear which is also in the wash because honestly i said before if you see my wash basket <laughs> and then here i've kept this little section here for a couple of jumpers in case it does get cold still and then a few pairs of like shorts and cyclone shorts because we're in between weathers so when it does get like really summer i'll put them away i'll have a whole aisle here full with shorts but for now i want to keep a few pieces because i've put all the rest of the winter stuff away we've got leggings in this pile jeans she's finally started liking jeans so she has one pair but i'm sure she'll get some more and then these are all like her basic t-shirts which will go in there i'm so happy with how that's looking at the minute i just want to iron them bits as i said and i also just tidied her desk up here and we have a pile of clothes here to sell and then we had another pile for 
the charity shop so yeah let me show you um what i use to iron these so this is the little setup so i've just got um a chair here which i'm just popping the clothes on and then on here on the door is the little hang and hook and then this is what we actually use so it's just a little hand steamer um, I got this in Curry's like PC World and yeah, it's just so good. I literally just pop it on, wait for it to heat up and then you press the little button around here but it's so good and it's so quick and I just pop some um, Fairy Non-Bio iron and water in it. It did say put water in it but the water just really smells bad after a little while so i don't like to use that but yeah that is what i wanted to show you give a little demonstration hopefully it's heated up but you just hang your item on there hopefully it's done now and then you just take your steamer and you just work it up and down the clothes Falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. So moving on to the boys' wardrobes, Will has just popped up the rails because they have just come through the post. We got them off eBay. We normally go to B and Q, but obviously B and Q's closed. So I've just hung his little bits of clothes up there. He's got a basket here which needs sorting out. I need to get another basket to go on the top here. But we also have some more dividers because I did sort out the drawers. Uh, what do you think, Marley? They're nice. You like them? Yeah. Aww. Uh. You like your slippers? <laughs> yeah. He's gonna love it. Yes. So yeah, these are his drawers. And as you can see, I ran out of like dividers. So I'm now gonna pop all of these in. Um, these are all his vests. And then these are his trousers. And then in the bottom, we have his sleep suits. So I'm now gonna organize all of this. The drawers were also from eBay because I couldn't get them from Ikea because they weren't delivering at the time. So yeah, I'll link everything down below that I can. But how adorable, his own little wardrobe. You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. Now moving on to the last wardrobe, Marley's. So I'm just going to take all of this out. I've already folded lots of his clothes over there and then just put everything back neatly. Even if the sky is falling down wardrobe all complete now i'm so happy because honestly that has been the biggest mess for the longest time um will popped this back on yesterday we were actually going to put this in ava lily's room but um we decided just to pop it back in here because there's a bit more space so he can hang his coats up he has all of his jumpers here boxes at the top so this one has hangers in, this one has like his summer stuff, swim shorts, stuff like that. That one has bags in. He then has his uniform organiser here, which obviously we're not using at the moment. And then down in the drawers we have the Ikea um, dividers. And he's got his pyjamas, socks and pants and stuff. And then in the second one down we have all of his joggers t-shirts and shorts and then the last one he has his shoes and just some old clothes ready for the garden so 
yeah i'm so so happy with all three of the wardrobes really hope that you have enjoyed this video and this little um wardrobe makeover and organization don't forget to hit subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys